please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Certainly. Automating the interaction between CSV data and Selenium elements in Python can be a powerful way to perform repetitive tasks on a website. In this tutorial, we'll go through the process step by step. For this example, let's assume we have a CSV file with data about users, and we want to fill out a form on a website using this data. Make sure you have Selenium installed. You can install it using Create a CSV file, example user underscore data dot CSV, with columns like username, email, password, etc. Make sure the column names match the fields on the website form. Download the appropriate web driver for your browser, example Chrome driver for Google Chrome, and place it in your project folder or at its location to the system path. Now, let's write the Python script. This script reads each row from the CSV file and uses the Selenium web driver to fill out the form on the website with the corresponding data. Adjust the code based on the structure of your HTML elements and form fields. Remember to replace the placeholder selectors, username, email, etc., with the actual identifiers of the form elements on the website you are working with. You can inspect the HTML source of the page to find these identifiers. Chat GPT Certainly Looping through CSV rows and interacting with Selenium elements in Python can be a powerful way to automate web tasks. In this tutorial, we'll walk through the process step by step. Make sure to replace path slash to slash Chrome driver, path slash to slash your slash file dot CSV, and other placeholder values with your actual paths and element identifiers. Save the script and run it. Make sure your CSV file has the necessary columns, example username, password. This script will iterate through each row in the CSV, extract values, and interact with the Selenium elements accordingly. Remember to handle exceptions appropriately and use wait mechanisms if needed, especially if your web page relies on JavaScript to load content dynamically. This tutorial provides a basic structure, you can extend it based on your specific use case and website structure. ChatGPT